This is it. On our way to Texas. I am second guessing this constantly. Like every second of every minute for the past two days. I'm like, really dude, you're gonna take a DRZ 400 all the way to Texas, back road style, at 50 years old. Are you an idiot? Well, in fact, ladies and gentlemen, the answer might be yes. I mean, it looks pretty secure. I think it'll be all right. I got it there, and then I got these rock straps going to these molly hooks on. It's all plastic, so hopefully it's... Yeah, I shouldn't cinch it down just tighter than God's asshole. Alright, I'm dying. Back on the road. Yeah, so... Bike heavier than I like. Weather way hotter than I like. Full disclosure, I, honestly, I have no desire whatsoever to take this trip. Like, none. I think I need my goggles on. I think I need my goggles on over my sunglasses and leave my visor open. I think it's too hot. So much for that idea. <clears throat> these goggles won't fit over these sunglasses. Okay, well, seven hours of this. If I can do it, we'll see if I get two hours in and decide to turn around and come home. Call the whole thing quits. Because like I said, full disclosure, I have no interest in going. I have not, I'm only the love of, love of my mother and the guilt of not being there for her and her waning years are the only thing. Sorry, it's going to be windy. I got to keep the visor open. Are the only things like making me go. And the reason I'm taking the motorcycle is because I driving used to be my favorite thing to do. I used to love to drive. Never been on any cross-country trips on a motorcycle though. Been on lots of uh, day-long in-state trips and camping trips, weekend excursions in-state when I lived in California, drive a few hours into the mountains. But uh Never taken a cross-country motorcycle trip, much less on a small bike like this. So this is kind of insane. Oh, I just blew through a stop sign. That's good. So yeah, I didn't want to drive, even though I could. If I went straight through, it's four or five hours quicker. I take all freeways, but I've done that drive numerous times. <clears throat> it's horrible. And then you're in traffic, and it's boring. And even if I took the car in back roads, it still gets boring. It's better than freeway, but it takes longer and it's boring. You're still just driving. Well, riding is more of an active activity. You're actively engaged, at least in my opinion, a lot more when you're riding a motorcycle than you are when you're driving a car. So I will also reveal to you that for no good reason, I'm incredibly anxious and nervous over this. This type of thing used to excite me and throw me to my bones the idea of going on a cross-country road trip but yeah it it shatters to my my it shatters me to my core <laughs> like I, I, bro I broke down when I was leaving I was like I told the wife I was like this is I don't want to go like I really don't want to go I already don't see my wife enough she works all the damn time now I gotta leave for a week. Oh, and leave my doggos too. Oh, it's torture. All right, I have changed out of my sunglasses and into my regular glasses so I can wear my goggles. And leave my face mask open because pollen counts high, but I need airflow. <coughs> and I have detangled my hose, my camelback hose, so I can drink it while riding without having to wear the camelback on my back. Because uh, that was getting too hot. I mean, I was getting too hot and too dehydrated. Hadn't even been that long. I do feel, that's why I keep on reaching for thinking I need a seatbelt on though, because I'm so used to having that camel back on my back when I ride. You know, so used to having a backpack on that uh, I'm like, what the heck? What's missing? It's like, oh, well, I got the camel back strapped. I have no idea where the gas stations are. I ran out of gas at 75 miles coming home from getting my tire yesterday. Had to go to reserve. 
you know, I was coming home, so I was close to a gas station, so I pulled in shortly after that. I don't know how long the reserve will get me. I can't imagine it's more than 25 miles. So best case scenario, I get 100 miles without having to pour my little whatever I got back here, half a liter's worth of gas. Uh, which may be getting me maybe another, I don't know, 20 more miles, maybe? Five, 10, I have no idea. So, we'll see if I'm out of gas on the side of the road or not. But it is definitely, definitely, definitely too hot for all this bullshit. I had every intention of taking this trip. I just didn't want to do it until the fall when the weather was a little nicer. And in point of fact, I was going to try it, attempting to take in my truck and the trailer and the motocross bike, motocross, my trail bike, and hit up spots to ride on the way there and on the way back and just camp out. But I'm afraid my mother may not have that long. So I got six hours and 21 minutes of seat time left. And I'm already, uh, that's a long time. That's what I'll say about that. There are constant little off-road trails, okay? I, I want to get on them. Some of them look really fun, like that one's like whatever. But look, and then it goes into the woods a little bit. Oh, I want to go off-road <coughs> and go through all these. And my every instinct is to do so. <coughs> but, uh, Something is discretion. Discretion is the better part of valor, so. Oh, well, it looks like we might be coming into a town. Boy, I hope so, because I sure would like to get some gas. Come on, gas station. So I just looked, and it appears that there's a gas station up the road a ways. Uh, so it's easy to say now, but I'm just, I'm gonna attempt to just not worry about it. Like, I got a little bit extra gas. I got a phone. I got AAA, worst case scenario, I got my emergency in reach that I can text my wife and uh, she can call AAA for me or whatever if, if I don't have service and to bring me gas. And so I'm gonna so the point is it's an adventure and I need to start treating it like one and stop being a little bit. I need to enjoy the ride. It's hot, it's miserable, nonetheless. need to enjoy the ride. That's one of the things I was saying, you know, I'm, I'm 50. How many of these I got left in me? I mean, this, on a bike like this, this, this is a 20-man-year-old's adventure. A 20-man-year-old's, a 20-year-old man's adventure. You know, 30-year-old man adventure, maybe. Not a 50-year-old man adventure. Charlie Buckner Road. Yeah, so my main... My main concern, other than gas and the, my physical endurance, is the bags. I lighten them significantly, so I'm pretty confident that they'll be all right now. But nonetheless, like, you know, I haven't tested the rigor of these bags on a 2,000-mile journey. I go on little day excursions, and I've already got a year on them. Oh, yeah, this sucks. Wind just beating against me. Well, we just did seven miles on this silly stuff, and now we get to do another. 14, so double that. Oh, we're only 29 miles from Columbus. This is definitely the closest I've ever been to Columbus, to my knowledge. Probably seems silly because I just got gas 18 miles ago. But yeah, I'm gonna get gas, like every chance I see it. Out of service, oh. That'd be the problem. A dollar 58. All right. Welcome to Columbus, Georgia, everyone. Not a lot to see. I may not be going the route. You got to go to see shit, though. Aflac. You can see a big duck. That's something else. Something you'll see every day. I just stopped in Burger King and had a chicken sandwich. It may or may not be better choices. I just wanted to get something into me and get back on the road. 
it's quickly approaching 100 degrees. Forget how much hotter it gets in the city with all the concrete and asphalt. My eyeballs are on fire. Jesus. There's a gas station. I wonder if I should get gas. It's on 20 miles. I hate to stop every 20 miles and get gas, but it's probably not the worst idea. Better reset my tripometer. I can't believe I'm driving a DRZ 400 to Texas. What the F is wrong with me? Oh, and I forgot to change my glasses and my goggles, which is the whole point of that stop. Home of the boom boom lady. I didn't see a sign. I didn't see a sign, but I, I think I might be in Alabama. I think it is, or I just saw a sign, some about Project Keep Out. Home of the boom boom lady. I didn't see a sign. I didn't see a sign, but I, I think I might be in Alabama. I think it is, or I just saw a sign, something about Project Keep Alabama Beautiful, so I might be in Bama. 95 degrees, feels like 100, according to the weather app. And that black top I've been riding on is a lot hotter than this lighter stuff, grayer stuff. I, I got instantly cooler as soon as I got back on this stuff. All that heat reflected off that black black top. Oh my goodness. Way too hot. I still can't believe I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Uh, 50 years old. I'm an idiot. Okay, I gotta get some airflow going. I've been okay so far, but I really started to get overheated on that black top. Started to not feel well. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I didn't bring the truck. I'm highly considering driving back to the house. Five hours left and it's only getting hotter? I don't know. I might need to call the wife and have her start heading this way in the truck and meet me. Is it really hot? Man, if we could get some cloud cover. Oh, glory be. I need more of those clouds. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just check. See what's what. Hopefully ain't a dog out here in this yard about to get me. All right, well, it wants me to go the other way. Oh, I ain't got no signal yet. It's trying to find a signal. Come on, man, I'm dying. It's trying to find me. Yeah, I'm two hours from home, best case scenario. Great, now I got no signal. Okay, well, I'm a big wuss. Change of plans. I'm going back home. <laughs> I'm already gonna lose a hundred bucks on the place tonight. I'm not driving a motorcycle in a hundred degree heat. I started to get really overheated and start to feel physically ill. I've got my jacket off now. Like I'm still five hours plus from my destination. I'm an hour and 56 minutes from my house. I'm going back to the house. I think I started to get a little bit of sunstroke or heat exhaustion or something. I mean, I've been drinking water nonstop, but still, there's only so much you can do. So needless to say, I got my jacket off now. I got it mounted on the back. Yeah, this was, this was a bad idea. I knew it was a bad idea. That's why I was so hesitant to do it. I knew I was not gonna wanna do this in the dead of summer in 100 degree heat. And I'm literally, I'm not even in the excessive heat warning place yet. I had another 100 miles before I got to the excessive heat warning. And I'm already dying. Got this black top again, this is gonna suck. Muskogee River, I had no idea. It's pretty cool. I did not come this way when I came in here. I don't believe.
Okay, round two, second try. Second verse, slightly different than the first. I guess it'll have to go up on both channels now, because now it's, it's a Red Bone Unincorporated video. Not, not a KLX country video, because there's no, no KLX, no DRZ, not even a Scooty Scoots in the back, which, believe me, I wanted to bring one of them. I'm like, bring, bring one of them. I'm like, dude, you can't ride the Scooty Scoots or the KLX like likely anywhere you're going to be and uh the drz i don't even i shudder to think how <laughs> yeah i would not i don't want to put that in the back of this truck and i well, i really don't want to take it out of the back of this truck but yeah it's too heavy and too no I mean, okay i have to take all the luggage off and so just me solo in the truck with uh feelings same as yesterday i have no desire to do this do not want to go uh, I'm just so accustomed to my little, my little humble abode and hanging out with my wife and my dogs. If I go anywhere, like I say, like I said yesterday, I want it to be a local, you know, a day excursion maybe, or uh, at best, you know, a few hours away for a ride for a week or so. But I like my wife, what can I say? But nonetheless, off we go. They're going a direct route this time. Changed bookings. Right now we're headed to Jackson, Mississippi. It's gonna be way more boring in the car. Continue on Terrell Street for half a mile. Safe light repair, safe light replace. He wants to know how he's driving. I think you're driving great, dude. That's because I like motherfuckers who get it and don't be lagging about. So I think you're awesome. I don't know if it's a chick or a dude with a mullet driving. But either way, me likey. Well, I missed a sign, I think, but welcome to Sweet Home Alabama, it said. Not my sweet home, but Alabama Welcome Center Rest Area, three quarters of a mile. I think we're gonna pass that on by. Keep it moving to Mississippi. Well, maybe we'll make it all the way through Alabama without stopping. I don't know. Let's see how my bladder holds. All right, so I'm coming up on Phoenix City F uh, P H uh, E N X. Like there's no, it's not spelled correctly. And that's about as far as I made it yesterday on the motorcycle before I turned around. So I'm not exactly in the same spot, but I'm close. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did the exit for Phoenix City. We're just we're just passing exit 62. So off to the right is Phoenix City. So yeah, this is a. Uh, oh yeah, US 280. That's what I was on. So, all right. Okay, we're currently off the freeway system. We are on US 80. If I remember correctly, I think we go through Selma, Alabama, on this on this uh, stretch of road, but via taking a detour or if indeed that's the route the route do y'all say route or route i say both okay i guess i should give you a little bit of an update it was six hours and 26 minutes drive time when i left we're down to three hours and 42 minutes drive time my arrival time was originally 519 i believe and now it's down to 507 so we're making good time and uh Traffic has not been too bad. We got three hours, 42 minutes left. Two hour, 232 miles left. I want to visit. What a gorgeous landscape. So lush and green because all the green, right, all the green, all the rain they've been getting. Lovely. Yeah, we're in Selma. I was driving through here and I was just thinking, Jesus, how poor is this town? Like the school, I was like, well, that school must be closed because it was just so old and dilapidated. No, there were two school buses there and there were totally all these cars there and that's 100% in class. Queen
means it in the black belt. I wonder why they call this the black belt. It's got, is that something to do with uh, slavery, maybe? Yes, that's the Edmund Pettus Bridge that we're crossing right now. Actually, pretty big downtown. I wonder what the population is. Hey, Google. What's the population of Selma, Alabama? In 2022, the population of Selma was 17,023. We are quickly going into what appears to be a rainy situation. I don't know. There's no rain on the schedule. But I am steadily driving into clouds. All right, two hours and one minute left for today. Six hours, six and a half hours didn't seem like that long a drive like when you think about it, but it's a long time to drive. I used to, this stuff used to not bother me, man. I used to be able to put 10 hours under my belt like nothing. And uh, like I would, that was my standard was to drive 10, 12 hours a day. I mean, when I'm at six, I'm already, I mean, I, when I'm at four, I'm ready to quit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna need a more comfortable car. So welcome to Mississippi. There's a sign, welcome to Mississippi. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I, -I, I don't know why they got the damn thing painted red. All right, hour and 37 minutes to go. Yay. I love it when semis pull right in front of me. It's my favorite. Just saw my first Cybertruck in real life going the opposite way on this divided uh, freeway. It was way worse than in both. I mean, I I know it was bad. It's way worse than <laughs> in in, a, in real life. Oh my goodness! Like it looked so dumb. And yeah, the stainless steel looks freaking. I'm sure it looks phenomenal when it's polished and like my fridge, right? My stainless steel fridge. It looks great right after I've cleaned it. And then about five minutes later, it looks like shit because I opened the fridge and my fingerprints are all over it. So yeah, if you if you, if you if you make it spotless and never take it anywhere and leave it indoors, it probably looks pretty good. I can't believe I had a deposit on one of those eight years ago or whenever he first announced it. I mean, I got my deposit back quite a long time ago. But... How poor is Jackson? Man, I Continue had, straight onto Rose Street. I don't think I've driven on streets this bad since I left small town Texas. This is insane. Like, there's no painting on the streets. You can't see the where all the paint is. They're just absolutely beat to dog shit. They all need to be resurfaced. Like, every street in Jackson is horrible. At least everyone that I've been on. At the light, turn right onto Robinson Road. Jesus! I'm gonna need a new alignment and maybe some new tie rods and ball joints and stuff by the time I'm done with Jackson. Holy shit. Yeah. Continue on Robinson Road for one and a half miles. Yeah, this town must be just broke as a joke. Yeah, we just put our barrel just right in the middle of the fucking road. Jesus fucking Christ. What an absolute shithole of a town. Yeah, not impressed, Jackson. I wouldn't live here for all the money in the world. You know what? It reminds me of Louisiana. That's what it reminds me of. That's what the roads remind me of. That's where I look in Louisiana. Hey, Grocery Depot right beside me. Maybe they'll have the groceries I need. Okay, day two. Well, technically day three. <laughs> um, 6.25 in the morning. I forgot to take my... I take a Benadryl and a couple melatonin every night to go to sleep. You know, started that I don't know a year or so ago, and uh, it's it's like the only way I can get to sleep, generally, or the only way I sleep through the night and don't wake up constantly. Well, I got drunk as shit last. Well, I didn't get drunk as shit last night, but I got drunk and uh, went to bed earlier than normal. And you know, I don't my routine. I'm in a rental, or whatever, I'm in an Airbnb. So I didn't even didn't occur to me until I woke up at you know I woke up at like four. 358 and I was like crap man why can't I why am I up and I was like I didn't go to bed I went to bed at like 1045 well, you know maybe 11 I should not be awake 
And then as I was doing my morning routine, because I couldn't get back to sleep, I was putting away my stuff, and I looked at my bag, and I saw that. I was like, oh, you didn't take your freaking pills last night. That's why you're way in sleep through the night but whatever we'll make good time i probably sleep real good tonight since i didn't sleep that many hours last night uh we should get there around 12 15 according to the gps i've already knocked off like i don't know five or ten minutes off of that it was 12 20 something it was my right 12 24 maybe or something was my arrival time so we're making good time doing about 90 probably need to slow down but uh Anyway, that's it. Uh, I do not want to do any of this. I just, you don't know how bad I was just like, even last night, like, <laughs> at like 10.30, I was like, you should just, oh, maybe it was this morning. Maybe it was this morning at four when I woke up. I was like, you should just, uh, I don't know, it might've been last night when I couldn't go to sleep. And I was like, yeah, you should just go home. You should just turn around and go home. I would have lost the $400 I already paid for my rental in Texas. And I lost $130 from the one the other day. That I had to cancel when I didn't leave that same, you know, when I came back home. But, uh... Yeah, I am just not into travel like I used to be. At least not without my wife. I was a solo roller my whole life. And now I'm completely codependent. <laughs> Alright. Well. I, uh, we're in Louisiana. We crossed the big, we crossed the big bridge over the Mississippi River. And, uh, but I was on the phone with my sister. So, <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't able to record it. I love that bridge too. Maybe I'll get it on the way back. Hopefully I'll get the camera on it and remember it on the way back. I love recording that bridge. You get the old bridge, or maybe it's the old, maybe it's the trains on that, but I think it's the old bridge that you see beside it and the new bridge that you drive over it. But, but anyway, welcome to Louisiana. truck's driving backwards down the freeway. That's insane. <laughs> That's so wild. I've never seen a short bed semi with a tow and a car on top and a semi behind it backwards. That's the first time I've ever seen that sight in my life. Cray cray. Wow. That's crazy. I just saw another cyber truck. There's no way it's the same one because the other one was going the other way and it was three states or two states back behind me and it was going towards Florida. So that's definitely the second one. God, it's so ugly. It's so ugly. Does anybody know why? Anybody know why the wheels on those campers are so damn tiny? It always blows me away. What are you doing here, dude? Ain't got no, can't see none. Ain't got no trailer mirrors. Oh, that's hilarious. A big ass dumb truck with big ass dumb tires pulling a dumb ass trailer with small ass dumb tires. Ah! <laughs> what a fucking 
clown. What a clown. Holy sh**. And the travel trailer was massive. Why would a fucking RV that big be on tiny fucking tires? That makes no sense. Like, that's insane. It's one thing with the first one that was, that was you know, that was a really small travel trailer. But that next one was massive. And those tires were just as small. Silly. Ridiculous silly. I don't understand it. You probably can't see it, but I can see the Dallas skyline way off in the distance, way off to the right. In clouds and smog. <laughs> probably definitely can't pick it up on the GoPro. A big giant Texas flag, an American flag. You probably didn't even see it off to the left. And I'm not taking the camera off because people are well, I guess like people are idiots in Dallas, but they're way more stupid in Atlanta, to be fair. Like, we're all driving just as fast here, but people are not as stupid. They're not, there's not as much weaving in and out um, as there is in Atlanta. You got idiots just literally just trying to freaking shoot from one lane all the way across the freeway and then back over to where they were, just like in and out of traffic and and the thing is, if it's one driver, it's not that bad, but it's, there'd be like 70 drivers trying to do that on the Atlanta freeway. And it's like, you're all idiots, none of you can drive, you're all about to wreck. Crazy. It's almost like Dallas is down in a valley. It's just so dang flat. Wild. I mean, I grew up in Texas, I know this, but still. It still seems surreal when you don't see it every day. Man, Spaghetti Junction ain't got nothing on this stuff. Oh my lord, this is so scary. I don't think they were done with this. I don't think they were done with this four years ago when I was here. I think they were working on it. Oh my god, this is so high. This is so crazy scary. Wow. Wow, is that high. That's gotta be, that's gotta be eight or nine stories in the air. That is so wild. Got six flags to our left. I can't even saunt it now. But if I was up on that big freeway, you'd be able to see it. Six Flags over Texas. I hadn't been there since I was like 12 or 13 or something. I better pay attention to the road and stop I'm trying to film. Oh, they got the Superman. Oh! Holy crap. That one, some of those look crazy. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I'm into amusement parks anymore. Roller coaster used to be my fave. I don't think I want to do them at age 50. Man, I would not want to live in this city. Jesus. I would not want to live in any city, but especially just a metropolis like this. This is horrible. I thought the roads in Louisiana were bad. This part of Fort Worth, they're really bad. I mean, they're bad in Louisiana too, but good lord. Texas got money. That's the difference. There's no way the speed limit is actually 30 on this road. This is insane. I would have already been here, but the damn, I had to take a detour. They had the freaking GPS was telling me, and then I went and it's like, it's all constructed. The roads were completely ripped up. <laughs> and then every time it, it told me to go around it, it took me to another, it took me to the same, uh, you know, portion of, I was like, Jesus Christ. So I, I had to backtrack like five times before I finally found my way across the freeway. I guess that's why the speed limit's 30 because it freaking in a quarter mile turn left onto timberview drive because the damn road is so jacked up all right this is a massive piece of property i'm going to turn left onto timberview drive then your destination will be on the right and i'm going to be on a little uh be a little cottage on this big ass farm, I think. Oh, there it is, Timberview Industries or Farmstead. I think that's where I'm going. Yeah, it is. Your destination is on the right. 